Now, let us examine the causes of bullwhip effect. The causes are delivery lead time, order batching, price and sales discount, shortage gaming and information myopia. Let us examine each one of them in detail. Delivery lead time. What is delivery lead time? Delivery lead time is the time lag between ordering an item and its delivery. As the delivery lead time increases, the firms have a tendency to place larger and larger orders. This tendency to play larger and larger orders leads to aggravation of the bullwhip effect. Next is order batching. Some firms in have a policy of placing orders only in large batches. This policy or this tendency of the firms in the supply chain to place large orders can lead to bullwhip effect. The third cause is the price and sales discount. Prices and sales discounts send surges of demands from the customer end to the retailer. The sudden surge in demand and as soon as the price discounts are withdrawn, there is a drop in sales. The sudden surges and drops in demand aggravate the bullwhip effect. The fourth cause is the shortage gaming. Customers, when they perceive that there is a shortage of an item, tend to place orders on multiple suppliers. This placement of orders on multiple suppliers gets cancelled when one of the supply is delivered. This sudden unnecessary placement of additional demands on many suppliers and then followed by cancellation can also lead to bullwhip effect. Fifth is the information myopia. In traditional supply chain, the source of information to any firm in the supply chain is limited to the firm immediately downstream of it in the supply chain. They have no access to the actual customer demand that drives the supply chain. This limited access to information is another cause of aggravation of bullwhip effect. So we have seen that the causes of bullwhip effect are delivery lead time, order batching, price and sales discount, shortage gaming and information myopia.